malicious actors are managing to elude Google Play's security measures and spread their malware to users in spite of Google's best attempts to keep it virus-free. An example of this is the banking Trojan in ATSA, which has the ability to empty accounts of their money. What exactly is an ATSA? Well, the primary objective of the Android banking Trojan in ATSA is to steal money from its targets. It does this by deceiving the user into believing they are logging into their bank account while, in reality, they are giving a malevolent third-party access to their login credentials. Anatsa is just another example of the banking Trojan that is nothing new. But the way this spyware enters people's phones is what really stands out. How do phones get infected by the Anatsa Trojan? Malicious developers have discovered an opportunity to spread Trojan software, like Anatsa, via Google Play, the official Android app store, despite the fact that the virus is often found in unofficial app shops. The developers must first create or get a valid app in order to do this. This application is unrestricted in its forms. Zscaler discovered malware in a PDF reader and a QR code scanner. The app's creator takes effort to ensure that it contains no harmful code. By doing this, it would activate Google Play's security features and prevent the app from being released. Instead, a download service masquerading as a software updater is created by the creators. In fact, the download service serves as a Trojan dropper that infects the victim's phone with the dangerous Anatsa virus, not an app updater. How banking data is stolen by Anatsa Trojan When the phony app requests that the user update it, the Anatsa assault starts. The software launches the Trojan dropper, which installs Anatsa on the victim's phone, if the user agrees. Anatsa installs it, and then checks to see whether the phone has any installed major banking applications. If it locates one, the next time the victim attempts to use the banking app, it will display a phony login page. The user's login credentials are stolen by this phony login page and sent back to a malevolent agent, who may use them to access the victim's bank account. From this point on, the victim's bank account may be used to withdraw money by the Anatsa distributor without the target being aware that they have been hacked. Tips for My heart is shattered into pieces Fractured from the weight of broken promises Each are a reminder of pain and sorrow But now it's cracked and unable to cope With the wounds of love that did not last Leaving a void that's vast Try to piece it together Mend the cracks But some wounds are too deep There's no goal the glue of love that used to hold it tight Has melted away in the darkness of night Fragments of emotions scattered on the floor Tips for preventing a Natsa infection Sadly, this situation does not lend itself to the standard guidance for preventing Android virus. This virus not just affects Google Play applications, but it could potentially be included in any sort of software, whether it a phony replica of a trustworthy service or a genuine program that performs as promised. Even with Anatsa's cunning strategies, it is still possible to identify a potentially harmful program on Google Play. The main thing you're searching for is an authority, a declaration that the app is unreliable. Reviews are ineffective here since the agent could secretly add Anatsa to a program that fulfills users' download requirements. Rather, what you need to look for is evidence that the software has been there for a while and has had a respectable amount of downloads since it was first released. Both of these characteristics are available in the app's information sheet, which is available on its Google Play website. This is a useful method for determining an Android app's safety before downloading it.
If not, you may always download applications from reliable businesses that you are familiar with and have faith in. To read PDFs on your phone, for instance, you may use the Android Adobe Acrobat Reader Edit PDF app, which you can be sure isn't packaged with money-stealing malware. Lastly, using two-factor authentication via your bank is a smart move. A 2FA service that requests no code from an authenticator is what you should ideally look for. This code may sometimes be requested by fraudulent login sites, and once they have the information, the con artist may use it to access your account right away. If you inadvertently give away your personal information, you'll want something that the con artist cannot utilize for themselves. For instance, when I tried to log into my bank service, it asked for certain characters from my secret password. It could request the first, second, and ninth characters the first time, then the second, fifth, and sixth characters the following. This is far more difficult for scammers to get. Even if they are successful in tricking you once, they will only have a small part of a more complex password. A NASTA is a horrible piece of work, and it's rather scary how common it is among otherwise innocent-looking applications on Google Play. But you should be okay if you just downloaded reliable applications from Google Play and enabled two-factor authentication with your bank. I hope you found the video informative, and if you did, please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.